U.S. President Joe Biden held a video call with European allies as Western nations warned the threat of a Russian invasion of Ukraine remained high and the United States put thousands of troops on alert to be sent to the region if needed. North Korea fired what appeared to be two cruise missiles into the sea off its seized coast on Tuesday, South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said. Such a launch would be its fifth missile test of the year at a time when talks with South Korea and the United States have stalled. The UN General Assembly said that Iran, Guinea and Vanuatu had paid sufficient back dues to the United Nations regular operating budget to regain their voting rights in the 193-member world body. The UN Charter states that members whose arrears equal or exceed the amount of their contributions for the preceding two full years lose their voting rights. At least 19 people have died after a bar in Indonesia's West Papua was set ablaze following a brawl between rival gangs of youths in the area, police said on Tuesday. The deadly entertainment venue was still under investigation. At least six fans died in a stampede at the stadium in Cameroon before the host nation's round of 16 game in the African Cup of Nations against Comoros, the Central African nation's national broadcaster reported. The Australian Open has reversed its ban on where is Peng Shui? T-shirts following widespread backlash to the tournaments claim they constituted commercial or political material, but banners will still be prohibited. Tournament security confiscated a banner and asked fans to take off their shirts before Victoria police were called over. Burkina Faso's army had ousted President, suspended the constitution, dissolved the government and the National Assembly, and closed the country's borders. The did the, det did the det deterioration of the security situation and what the army described as Kabor's inability to unite the West African nation. The coronavirus positivity ratio of Pakistan remained above 10% for the sixth consecutive day. The country recorded positivity rate of 12.81% as 6,357 new coronavirus cases were recorded. 17 more patients have succumbed to the virus. The coronavirus positivity ratio of Pakistan remained above 10% for the sixth consecutive day. The country recorded positivity rate of 12.81% as 6,357 new coronavirus cases were recorded. 17 more patients have succumbed to the virus. Cricket Australia and the Pakistan Cricket Board are in talks over the venues for test matches during the Aussies tour to the country in March. This will be the first time that an Australian side will be visiting Pakistan to play a cricket series after 24 years, with Islamabad looking eagerly to revive international cricket and host foreign teams. After a nail-biting 29 days of travel and ultra-precise deployments, the James Webb Space Telescope fired its thrusters one more time on Monday to reach its final parking spot a million miles from Earth. Technically, Webb is now orbiting the Sun and is staying in line with Earth. <laughs>